Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. Um, just a quick one. Uh, MPs don't lie. <laughs> I think I've covered this before on, on, on here where if in the House of Commons anyone puts an accusation suggesting someone is academic with the truth or lies, then the, the speaker will ask them to retract that statement. Like, <coughs> not quantify it, retract it altogether as if no politician could ever lie and it's, it's uh, disrepute to to say someone in this office would lie <coughs> knowing that all human beings do do it and um, this is against the Prime Minister Boris Johnson who has a very chequered uh, career of lying he, he's been uh, removed from newspapers for lying that's documented and there's lots of things that he says I mean I don't know whether they're lies or whether they're just inaccurate or, or just he's, he's not very good at the job I don't know but um, he doesn't carry himself very well um, as a Prime Minister or a Premier anyway you can hear it where Labour's um, what's her name Dawn it doesn't have it written up here um, and they'll say her name in a second she, she accuses him of lying three times and, and gets chucked out uh, of the House of Commons for that day for making the accusation but I mean if I was her or any MP <clears throat> if you're going to make the accusation of lying same as when you're on these things you need the evidence because anyone can say anything and this is what I find you know you get with the COVID-19 jabs and vaccinations and all these types of things that I see on Facebook you know uh, there was one I saw the other day about uh, a poster campaign for um, one of, you know what getting money to put posters up in Germany about uh, it says something like uh, five uh, five thousand people have died after getting. No, it doesn't even say it that way. It, it just says about five <clears throat> five thousand people have died since getting the COVID nineteen vaccine. I don't think this is that <clears throat> that I want. I don't know the exact wording, but it's something very vague, and it doesn't really tell you. It omits part of the truth of of what is is causing these these deaths, whether it's because of they, uh, the vaccine killed them, whether it's because it didn't protect them and they still caught COVID-19 or whether they died of something else. Um, if you're very clever with how you word something, you can make people think what you're saying, but it may not actually be. So here's this, this from Sky News. Is it, would it be being cynical of me to suggest they might be waiting till Parliament rises before they put out that list so that they can't uh, face any awkward questions from MPs? Surely that's too cynical. Oh, well, Parliament might be about to break up, but there's some uh, last-minute drama. The Labour MP Dawn Butler, uh, she's been asked to leave the House of Commons for the remainder of the day. What did she say to, to prompt that action? Well, right at the end of any session, they have what's called a, a, an adjournment debate. It's the summer adjournment debate. Uh, MPs can raise any subject uh, and say we shouldn't adjourn until we've discussed this. Uh, Dawn Butler, a former member of uh, uh, Jeremy uh, Corbyn's shadow cabinet, of course. Some MPs call her Red Dawn because she's uh, left wing. Um, she uh, had, I suppose, what some uh, MPs might uh, say, a bit of a rant about uh, Boris Johnson. And uh, she was given the red card by... Uh, not by the Speaker or one of the Deputy Speakers, a stand-in Deputy Speaker, Judith Cummins, a Labour MP, Bradford South, who's uh, only in the chair because Rosie Winterton, one of the Deputy Speakers, is isolating. This was the clash between the uh, uh, Labour MP, uh, Dawn Butler, and the stand-in Deputy Speaker. The Prime Minister said we have severed the link between infection and serious disease and death. Not only is this not true, Madam Deputy Speaker, but it is dangerous, and it's dangerous to line the pandemic. And I'm disappointed that the Prime Minister has not come to the House to correct the record and to correct the fact that he has lied to this House and the country over and over again. Order, order. I'm, I'm sure that the, um, the member will um, reflect on... Um, her words, she's saying, perhaps correct the record. Madam Deputy Speaker, what would you rather, a weakened leg or a severed leg? You know, at the end of the day, the Prime Minister has lied to this House time and time again. And it's funny that we get in trouble in this place for calling out the lie rather than the person lying. Order, order, order. Order. Can you re please? Please reflect on your words. 
and withdraw your remarks. Madam Deputy Speaker, I've reflected on my words and somebody needs to tell the truth in this House that the Prime Minister has lied. Under the power given me by standing order number 43, I order the member to withdraw immediately from the House for the remainder of the day's sitting. And then she walked out. Actually, I didn't realise that, I didn't hear the very beginning of it. She did actually put the accusation of, um, and I've heard this, they were talking about this previously, where he's talked about severing the link between uh, COVID-19, was it, um, due to the vaccines, whereas um, I think the the dean, I can't remember his name, the, the guy who's the, uh, the vaccine minister said it was weakened. So there's uh, obviously those words mean different things. One's better than the other. But there you go. Exclusive news again. MPs can't lie. <laughs> take care, take it to God bless in peace.